Ha! You will not steal my shield today, pumpkin creature! Ah, hello everyone, I'm the Mortrigan, and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, One Life to Live, Randomizer, all the things. We're going to the Ice Palace today. Um, oh, I've got something to show you. Something that you probably don't see very often. Look! Green, blue, red. How often do you actually see someone who gets all three potions? Like, I, I mean, I'd almost never do it. I would, I would almost always just get blue. Because that's one thing that I think that um, <clears throat> Ocarina of Time did very well, is that they made the blue potion a lot more valuable. Because you could only get it in one place in the, in like the, uh, the future, and um, uh, da, 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 you had to like know about it. You had to know you could walk through the back door of the potion shop to get to it. So, like in this game, because it's just, it's not, it's not prohibitively expensive to get it in this game. It's just like, you know, what, 40, 40 rupees more? That's not that bad. Just save up a little bit more and you can get it. Get two Mo Chicken treatments and you'll have enough to get, um, blue potion. So, and I mean, it's not like the potion shop's hard to find or anything either. It's like, you know, there, there's a there's there's a bird teleporter to it. You know, it's not not very difficult to get to a key. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, once again, another very pink dungeon. So I think the fact that they made blue potion more valuable in later games was a good idea. And then in Wind Waker, they just made you know potions in general useless because <laughs> you can get grandma soup, and once you have grandma soup, which is free. Um, you know, not only is it good, but Link actually seems to want to drink it. You know, he's not like frown- Ah, my feeble human form! No! No! Okay, good. Um, you know, he actually seemed like he wanted to drink it. Why did I go to Misery Mire first when I had level 5? Huh. Whatever. Um, alright, see you later. <laughs> See you later. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It feels like potions... Like in, the fir in the very first Legend of Zelda, potions were super duper important. You know, you almost would never want to go into a dungeon without potions. And they were important, and the game made it clear right off the bat, because that, that was like the, one of the first things you got, was the clue about going to like the easternmost peninsula being the secret and all that. Um, which I assume is a reference to the old man and not to the hidden area on the easternmost peninsula. But I don't actually know now that I think about it. Can I do this? No, it not work. Um, actually, hang on. Well, then no, that takes magic. Magic is currently more more valuable than, than our bombs, so. Um... And you had, like, the blue potion and the, the red... Po or you had the life potion and second potion, which is very silly. A unique item is in Blind's hideout. Neato! What a helpful hint. What a useful thing to learn is that there's a unique item in Blind's hideout. Cool. Um... Mmm... Yeah, and then just like, I don't know, as time went on, they just became less and less valuable. Oh, a key. I want that. Um, I actually didn't realize that there were there were keys, or these things were key monsters. Also, I had forgotten that they randomized the blue jellyfish to be red jellyfish to just confuse everything. <laughs> just confuse everything. Everything is mystifying. Um, because everything in this seed is red. All things are red. Pfft. All things are red. My outfit, red. The environment, red. Color of cranberries, red. All things are red. You, you want to use this seed? Everything's going to be red. Red, 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 red. <laughs> red, 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 red. Um, and then all the slimes pop up. Hello to the slimes. Those zoles or gels. I always forget, is it is the big one or the little one, Zol? I think I think Gel is the small one. 
I don't know. Ed, do I have that backwards? I often have it backwards. Then we got deadly penguin people, we kill them, and we continue onward. That is how it goes. Hello. This thing always looked like it had eyeballs. Like the little the little spikes on the top always kinda looked like it had two eyeballs, and it was like a big, big weird, like, I don't know, beetle or like a turtle on his back. He got his arms out to the sides, like the the, the secondary directions. I don't know. You see what you want to see, I guess. I don't know that way. It's over here. It's over here. This is this room. Okay. I wasn't. I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet, but I can get things here, I guess. Oh. Never mind. Oh, big key! Well, that's very helpful. Okay. That's a good thing to have. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... I think there's a treasure chest up here, right? Yeah, yeah maybe. Something in here. Huh. Okay. This is not where I meant to be. Good. Hammer some weird whack-a-mole things. It's a good time. Now oh, my people human form! Okay, good. Hello, sir. He's like, thank you for greeting me. What's this blue thing? Ah! Smash. There's something really fun about smashing them with the hammer for some reason. Take that. Sure. What are you? You are... The compass. Alright, we're gonna be fighting a uh, cold stare. So yeah, I, I must not have randomized the monsters. Which is fine, I guess. You know, that's that's fine. Okay, yeah, this this is where I thought I was gonna be. Okay. Uh the blip. It's a key. Sure, I'll take it. Keys are good. I like keys. Once again, I started to, like, run as I was pulling something. Is that a glitch in the Japanese version? Because I don't remember that ever happening in the English version. Where, you're, like, you start to run as you're pulling something. Seems odd. Alright. I want to go down those stairs. I want to go down those stairs. Here we go down the stairs. Here we go. Slip, slip, slip. Over here. This extremely pink ice... It's hot ice. Hot ice. That was that was a that's a reference to. Oh no, not you! Not a reference to. You. Ah! Stop! A uh, reference to Rookie of the Year. A terrible old. Oh, the legendary bug catching net sealed away for generations in the ice palace. No one would ever think to look here. Um. Flip. Okay. Well, I mean, I haven't gone through a lot of this dungeon, but, like, I, I have most of the things I need to finish the dungeon. Like, I'm kind of almost to the point where I could just finish it. <laughs> but I should explore the whole thing. I, I know I know that, so we'll, we'll keep going. Because we don't know what, what is where. We might need treasures elsewhere. Scary slip, slip, slip. There we go. That was so hard for me as a kid, like navigating that. It's kind of easy once you're an adult, because you got a big old adult brain. But, oh, I am very glad I opted to explore the dungeon then. Yes, because I'm going to need that, because we're going to go to frickin' Turtle Rock next. Ah, oh, my human, f human form! Um, and I definitely need half magic for Turtle Rock. That's going to be very helpful, so we're just going to do this, throw this guy, this guy, throw that at that guy, do it again, bam. What's in here? What is this? What's over here? This is what? What? No. What are, what are you? What are you? What? Ow. What are you? Wow. Oh. Here. Okay, well. That's not helpful. <clears throat> no. 
ice is very dangerous when you only have claws. What does this say? Some arrows is with a great fairy. Just some arrows. You know. X number of arrows. Unspecified amount of arrows is with a great fairy. Alright, whatever. Yep. Oh, okay. Now I'm here. Got it. Alright, well, I, I mean, I guess we're about done. Uh, we can just go finish the dungeon. Neato Torpedo. Yeah, this is just this room. You just fall here. That breaks, and then you just jump in. So. You can't avoid it. Can't escape it. Can't escape it. You don't know what to do. You can't escape me. I'm the snooze. The snooze. Now I'm just thinking about the smooze. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it is a direct reference to one of the villains from the uh, the My Little Pony movie from the 80s. Not modern day um, fashionable ponies, but original, um, you know, child like girls toy ponies. The OG ponies. That's right. They had a movie that involved the smooths. It was a large, viscous mass that threatened to take over Pony po Ponotopia or whatever their land was called. Ponopolis. Welcome to Ponopolis! Land of ponies! Oh, what's in here? No, no! No! You stay away! Okay, good. So it's a funny thing. Um... <clears throat> because of the way randomizers are laid out, you, um... It's much easier to do this puzzle because you often have the Cane of Samaria early. Because the trick to this puzzle is that you have to get to the other side um, to push a block. Like, if you, were, if you were playing this game normally, that's how you do this dungeon, is you have to... There's a lot of them. Come on. Look at all of them. Look at all the little tiny things. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Um, but if you have the Kinesmeria, you just bloop, block, and you're done. It's easy. And so randomizers have really made this particular puzzle much easier. <laughs> I remember being very confused about this puzzle when I was a kid. I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do. That's it. That's all you do. It's real easy if you got the cane. Oh, hey, hey guys. What were we all doing down there? Breeding? Oh, could you not put it that way? Why? You asked. We were breeding. We were making more jellyfish people. We do it under rocks. I just, I just like the idea. What were you doing down there? Breeding. <laughs> I don't remember if they, the uh, the statue looked... Like, you can clearly tell this statue is different from this statue because of the palette. I don't know if that was the case in the original or not. If you could, like, clearly tell just by looking at them. Alright, here we go. Hello, cold stare. Blip, blip. Blap. 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 Lucy, I thought it, I thought it was like Cardinal directing sometimes. This is a weird boss. It's a, it's a very strange idea, this thing. Like, what are they sp Are they clouds? Are they Cracko from Kirby? What is this? Honestly, they really look like Cracko from Kirby now that I thought of that. That did a lot of damage. Oh, are you are you guys dangerous? I really wasn't thinking that they were dangerous. Okay, yeah, we're done. <clears throat> Great. Thank you for the map. 
Hooray! Hmm. I didn't get a heart in there. Hmm. I did get two treasures, though, so I guess that's it. Alright, well, <clears throat> only one dungeon left. We gotta go save Zedla. Um... I'm trying to think if I want to... I feel like I should get some fairies before I go talk to Zed. Hello. Yep, this. Yep, this. Um, and I will drink... Uh, my delicious red potion. I can't. Hang on, I will go and hurt myself. <laughs> then drink my delicious red potion. Pickle man, bring it on! Ah! There we go. <laughs> there we go. Did it. Because I definitely want to have a backup fairy now that I can do. Blip. Ow. Hello, fairies. Welcome to captivity. Oh, that's a horrible thing to say. I'm sorry, fairies. I'll treat you right in there. I apologize. I'm not trying to be a monster. <clears throat> Why do I have so few hearts, though? I really have very few hearts. Um. Alright, well, yep. We are... <clears throat> oh, boy. Ha be having a... Having a cough is not much fun. Uh... In the next episode, we're going to be going to take on Turtle Rock, which is, which is actually one of my favorite dungeons, so that's fun. Uh, so I hope you'll come back and join me that. I am More Chicken. This has been The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master. Nope. Nope, not that, though. One Life to Live. I know my own show. Shut up!